YouTube back again another guitar another video well this here is something a lot different than uh, the other guitars on, that you see on my channel um, you know I own everything from you know Ibanez to first act to Fender you know to Gibson to whatever you know uh, but this was a brand that I knew about, you know, uh, years ago. Um, and I never thought that I would pick one up in the store and actually, you know, give it a shot. Um, this here is a probably, I'm going to say early to mid nineties, uh, Galveston, Les Paul copy. Now, this is a company represented with, <laughs> as you see the name Galveston, so the first thing you think about is Galveston, Texas, uh, but that's not the case. Um, yes, the name 99% should mean that, but whether it does or not, mm, I don't know, but okay, that's neither here nor there, but anyway, let's get to the point here. This here is a... Galveston Les Paul copy. Uh, it was made in Korea. Um, if you know my channel, if you know my videos, I haven't done a video in a little bit, but whatever. Everything is good, thank God. Um, you really have to understand that a lot of these Asian companies that make these guitars go by names that you know we're we're not totally you know sure of. You know, so we, you know, oh, it's, it's this or that or whatever. Guys, if you know my channel, if you know my guitar uh, videos, these guitars are made in a number of factories that are on the palm of your hand. If they're made in Korea, there's two. Uh, if they're made, <clears throat> well, actually uh, three. Uh, if they're made in China, there can be, I think they're out of the certain city that you should know about. I'm not going to mention it, <clears throat> but they're probably... I think five or six in China at one point. I, I think it's narrowed down now. I don't want to get too critical. But anyway, guys, this is a made in Korea version. Most of the newer models uh, are made in uh, China. Um, I'm going to say company history for this company. Uh, I'm going to say they made a lot of lawsuit copy guitars during that lawsuit era of the mid uh, late uh, 70s that carried over. It was more acceptable in the uh, 80s. Okay, now, as you see here, the horn is different. Uh, the neck uh, uses your standard dot inlays. It does have binding. <clears throat> so it does have binding, okay, all the way up. And guys, the nut isn't that bad at all either. Now, the quality of the nut is not bone or this or that, but it's not a bad nut. And... You see the gold plated tuners. Okay. Now, these pickups, guys, are not the original pickups. The original pickups were taken out. Uh, actually, my uncle put these in. He actually got these pickups for me. I, I bought these pickups for a really good price. And I decided to sell them to him. And he finally found a guitar and said, You know what? Yeah, hey, I'm, I'll, put them in, I'll put them in that Les Paul. Those original pickups weren't that good. Turns out these, well, these were guitar fetish, limited edition gold series pickups, okay? These were, I think, $120 new list price or 125 or in that range. Um, I got these from people that I know, you know, in the guitar bins, you know, such, you know, people and this and that goes on. So I got these I think I got these for 20 bucks because, you know, somebody knew we traded it this or that years ago. You know, it's different stuff. You know, we did, you know, people, people that, you know, through the years. Anyway, uh, your standard uh, two tone uh, volume freeze channel um, bridge and stop piece aren't that bad because this is actually made in Korea. So you're going to get a good quality guitar. Um, three way selector is not bad either. Um, it does have binding, okay? They didn't do the best job, as you can see here in the corners. But, ladies and gentlemen, 
I just want to tell you here. No, let me stop. This guitar has a beautiful, oh, I hope it comes up, has a really nice, only way it'll come up if I uh, put the uh, light on right, but no, let's not do that now. But a really beautiful cherry effect here in the back here. That's why I said it like that, because it makes you feel that way. <laughs> yes, that neck here. Uh, as you go up the neck too, you start to see really nice that that really nice late eighties, nineties wood that carried over through the nineties uh on this guitar. It doesn't show up. Sorry. Uh full plate tuners still with the stickers on there. Uh the tuners are okay. Uh they're not that you know, they're okay. Uh they pass the test. I mean, you could never take it on stage or anything, you know, for more than maybe a couple songs if that but yeah guys um really nice guitar like I said you know it's a Les Paul copy so it's it's going to have its own characteristics because you can't copy Gibson to a T so and another thing I meant to say that it is a more of a slim line guitar um it's not it's more of your junior style in the world of Gibson uh, Epiphone type you know it's a little thinner it's not as thick as a full size Les Paul from the front height and everything it is it's just that thickness now it is a maple cap so that is another thing so you're getting a full on strap I mean Les Paul excuse me so there's no cheating anywhere except for the fact that You know, has its cone style horn and slight thinness. Look, I'm not going to say thin. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say thin, thin, but a thinner, you know, body guitar. That's all. You know, uh, whether he skimped on the wood, I don't know what. But it is now. It 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 is a maple cap, okay, and it is a real wood guitar. Um, through some of the threads on YouTube, on, on Google and other sites, <clears throat> they're saying that this guitar, uh, these older ones like this here from the late 80s, early 90s, etc., you know, that were pushed over, uh, still not 100% on company history as far as what exact year this, this company made guitars when they first came out. Um, I'm really good at getting history on guitars. If you see my page, you see all the other guitars that I own. I do know the history. That's mostly what I do on this channel. I, I do the history of the guitars. I tell you people, you know, who own, you know, there are thousands of people who own these guitars out here that I have on my channel. So my thing is, why not give people the history who otherwise maybe not would want to know too much, but are interested. So they basically, you know, find out and, you know, go from there. You know what I mean? The more you know, the better. So I got to say, you know, you go, even if you're spending $150 on a guitar, just the fact that you're going to go out there and spend, let's say the average player is going to go out there and spend a lot of money, you know, five, six, eight, a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars on a guitar. You need to know the history of the guitar. It's like you're going to buy a car. You need to know company history. It's the same thing with guitars. You need to know the history of the guitar, um, you know, to understand what the company's history was about, what their future is, everything, you know, but, but yeah, guys, um, really nice Galveston. Like I said, Galveston Les Paul, really nice guitar, plays really nice. Now, with the upgraded pickups, it does have a little more output. Uh, these are more like a, not, I'm not going to say a PAF type sound, but it can, it can give that vibe at point at times. Um, but as far as Les Paul feeling the neck and all that, not bad, a little thinner, just a little bit, you know, less on the neck, a little, little less of the chunk that Les Pauls have Gibson or Epiphone at certain Epiphone models can give that. But guys, um, just want great guitar. You know, just want to let you guys know great guitar, not a problem. Playability, like I said, is very smooth and very good. There's nothing, you know, crazy about the guitar except for the fact that maybe the tuners, like I said, slightly go out of tune at times. You know what I mean? Especially the way I play. 
um, you know, you really have to find out exactly where the sweet spot is and um, tighten the screw on the tuner, excuse me, on the end, tighten that one up just a little bit more, you know, not to hurt the guitar or, you know, uh, mess up the tuner, crack the wood, but, you know, give it a little push and um, most of the time that solves it. Um, I haven't had this guitar for a long time. It's been, I don't know, uh, what, maybe a year, if that, but, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm going to say eight months, to, whatever, it's 2021 going to 22, so, you know, already, basically, might as well say, <laughs> so, doesn't matter, and beyond, 2021, 22, and beyond, God willing, so, like I always say, guys, God bless, see you next time.